Here are three Fibonacci tips that you need to know as a trader. The first tip is to understand that depending on the strength of a trend or the overall volatility, some Fibonacci levels are more or less likely to get rejected. So for instance, if we have a strong trend, then the 23.6, 38.2, or 50% retracement levels are more likely to get rejected. Whereas if it's a slower trend or there's more volatility, then the 61.8, 70.7, or 78.6 levels are more likely to get tested. The second tip is that when it comes to drawing Fibonacci, usually we'll connect to the highs and lows of entire impulsive moves. But sometimes we can also start by connecting the first point to a major swing high or a major swing low that ended up being broken through within a trend. And the third tip ties into the last one, where if possible, it's helpful to combine different Fibonacci ratios to see which levels can line up together. And if we take a look at these two different Fibonacci ratios, then we can see how some of these levels lined up pretty closely, and so there's more significance to them when it comes to being respected by the price action. And this concept of combining different Fibonacci ratios together is what slowly ties into trading harmonic patterns.